This is the NFL Week 11 Gambling Picks. WinningCuresEverything.com is the place to go. It is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. they got six wonderful sports books down there. Horseshoe, Gold Strike, Samstown, Hollywood, First Jackpot, Fitz Casino. You can find more information on all of them over at TunicaTravel.com. Let's jump in this bad boy. On our football picks contest last week, Carol C. from Huntsville, Alabama, she tied with like seven other people and went seven and three. She won the tiebreaker. Good job. So she got a $100 gift certificate to the Barn Prime Steakhouse and $50 in free slot play to first jackpot. <sighs> I went three, one, and one last week. That's good. I went three, one, and one. No, it's really good. good. You went two and three. Yep. Uh, I am 25, 23, and two. That is a perfect 52%. Congratulations. You, however, are still kicking my rear end. You are 28, 19, and 3. Do you want to start us off? Sure. Let's do it. I'm going to go with Thursday night football. Seattle's at home, playing tough. Packers, I, I've kind of bet against them a lot this year. I didn't win last week. But you won some. But I've won most of them. I'm going to continue to do that. I think the lines are overinflated because of the Aaron Rodgers factor. I just yeah. do. I think this team is getting far more credit. Seattle's a good football team. They play teams really tough. I don't – a lot of people think that the the Packers have found a running game. Man, I, I think nah. the Dolphins are just bad. Yeah. And and I don't I don't think the Packers – I mean, the, uh, the Seahawks are just going to let you come into Seattle and just push them around. They haven't done great at home, and I think a lot of that's because they've played some really tough teams at home. Well, they've only played – what three games three games home? there that's and insane so the back half of the schedule is just loaded that's with right with home games. games and and i i think they're going to play the packers tough i like seattle i like seattle to win this game i like seattle to cover i could dig that i could dig that all right so seahawks what minus two and a half yes sir game number one for me got the cowboys at the falcons i got the falcons minus three falcons looked awful last week the Cowboys look great. I think it flips this week. I think the Falcons are going to put up all kinds of points. I, now, the scary thing is I'm trusting in, in Steve Sarkeesian here. But that's okay. Uh, Dan Quinn is a good head coach. They've got a lot of talent on this team. I think they will be able to put up points in bunches. Uh, fun part about this, the three best Alabama receivers of the Nick Saban era, all going to be on the same field. Amari Cooper... Calvin Ridley, Julio Jones. I mean, it ain't it ain't like what LSU's got in the NFL, but like, this is all Alabama's got. So of course I'm gonna bring it up. Falcons minus three. Look, I I don't even have to go too in detail on this. The Cowboys are not a good football team, and and neither are the Falcons. But the Falcons are at home and they're coming off a beat down to the Browns. Like they're gonna get this thing switched because they. The week before the Browns game, they beat the hell out of the Redskins. At Washington. At Washington. This is one of your picks? Yep. Go on. Tell me what your reason is. I got the Falcons minus three because I don't believe in this Cowboys team. Every time they come up with a big win, you just bet the hell out of them. Just go against them. Bet bet the other way because nobody pats themselves on the back like the Cowboys. You got that right. Nobody believes in their own stuff like the Cowboys. And when they do something good, it's like they think they can just moonwalk through the rest of it. It's what they've done all year. They haven't put two back-to-back -back games together that look good all season. I don't think this team's a good football team. I think Ezekiel Elliott is really good at football. And for some reasons, they just get away from running the ball. Yeah. I, I think the defense is better than average for Dallas. I think Falcons are going to score on them. If, if the Falcons to. put up, like, Two quick touchdowns, they they yeah. go up pretty quick on them. Oh, it's a, it's ball game. It's done because no, like yeah. it, then, no team will quit. Like then the you're Cowboys. forced. Well, not, not even quitting. Like it's it's going to force the Cowboys to start trying to throw the football, and we've seen what happens. Ball game. Yeah, uh, game number two for me. Titans plus two at the Colts. I the line kind of stinks a little bit because you just saw the Titans come out and boat race the the Patriots right and. But then you look at the Colts, and they've won like three or four games in a row. Well, and I don't think it stinks. The Colts have won a lot of games, Colts too. Colts have won a lot of games in a row, but the Colts have been beating up on really bad football teams. 
So if they are beating up on bad football teams and the Titans have finally flipped the switch and they're actually beating good football teams, I'm going to roll with the Titans. I like their defense way more. Their defensive line, I think it's tough enough against uh, the Colts' offensive line, who has kind of been bullying teams around. Like, we'll, we'll give them that. Uh, but I just think the wrong team's favored here. I, I think the Titans are going to win the game outright. We might do this more than people want. I like the Titans, too. I've got the Titans plus two. I, I think they're the better team. I think the wrong team's favored. I understand why it's home field advantage. And, you know, this is a neutral site game. Titans might be a, a minus one team. Okay, you give – Colts three points for home field advantage. I just think they're a tougher team. I, yeah. I, I'm genuinely going to bet on the tough teams. I want a team that can beat somebody up if they have to beat them up. Well, and and honestly, the Titans still hold a little bit of uh, a bad taste in their mouth. I would the Colts. say history says bet the Colts. Well, that that's why I'm saying like because this Titans, the Titans team have not beaten them in a while. Well, they, they haven't beaten them with regularity in a while. Yeah. Like, they, they did beat them the last two seasons. But uh, it was when Andrew Luck was not healthy, you know, all that kind of crap. Um, but I do think that this Titans team, like, wants to go out and prove a point. I like Vrabel. I think Vrabel's a really good head coach. I do, too. I do, too. Uh, game number three, I got the Texans and the Redskins. Okay. Got the Redskins plus three. I think they got a better defense. I think the Texans have been gifted five games this year. Not great. Texans have been covering spreads, um, but that's because they've been underdogs in pretty much all like, all these games. Texans are coming off of bye week. I don't think it matters. Um, I like the Redskins. I like their defense. I think they're tough. I think Alex Smith is not going to hand the, the game away, and they're at home. I completely agree with all those things. I think Jay Gruden's a better coach. I think he'll put him in better situations. I, I like the Redskins as well. Yeah, I, also, I mean, a home th- dog. I think the shine is off the apple for the Texans. They went on this bye week. They've won six games straight. Then they go into a bye week, and all they get to do, excuse me, is is believe, have all these people talk about how, man, how, how great they're playing, how good they're – I want to go into a bye week with some adversity. Yeah. If, if you're going to ever take a loss, I want to take the loss before the bye week. I don't want to be on a six-game winning streak – going into a bye week because because it's hard to to get focused and to really work you don't push yourself the way you need to and um i can't figure the skins out other than the fact that they find ways to win games yeah they they've won high scoring games they've won low scoring games they've won games where they've gotten no offense they've won games where they've been but don't break on defense they just and i think it's you a gotta tough attribute team. a little bit of that to jay gruden I think he's good at just saying, man, I don't know what this week's going to look like, but we're going to keep it close going into halftime, and then halftime we're just going to figure out what we got to do to win the game. Is it weird that he's, like, I think he's a better coach than his brother? Well, it's not weird at all. He's better than his brother. Like, he's always been looked at as, a, oh, he's the little brother. He's not yeah, as good. Yeah, he's better than his he's, brother. He's better than he is right now, for sure. That's right. Uh, game number four. We got for- the same last game. I'm gonna. That's going to be annoying. I got the Eagles plus nine at the Saints. Okay, we're good. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Now, that's not my last game. That's fine. Uh, Eagles plus nine at the Saints. That line opened at, what, seven? I have no idea what it opened. It opened at seven. It jumped up to nine almost immediately. I do think the Eagles defense at some point, and, and I may take the L on this one because the Saints have covered so many games in a row. But something about it looks a little fishy to me. Like, nine seems like a whole lot of points. I mean, it, Saints are just demolishing teams. Demolishing teams. But I have no real reason why I'm taking this other than it just looks like it's too many points. Like, I, if the Eagles' defense decides to show up at all and they can get the running game going a little bit, you know, they could. I, I don't expect them to win the game at all. But I think they could keep it within nine. Okay. So I'm going to roll with the Eagles on that one. My last gambling pick is the Saints minus nine. <laughs> I, I, I think this Eagles team is, is bad. I keep waiting for them to flip a switch. I keep waiting to be like, okay, they're going to turn it on here. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're just not a good football team. I can't tell you why. I don't know what happened between – when they won the Super Bowl last year, and what they look like this year. But Carson Wentz doesn't look great. 
very few, and, and I can't even blame the receivers. I think Alshon's looked good. I think Ertz has looked great. You know, I mean, he's got a couple other receivers. They've looked really well. They can't run the ball. They are completely one-dimensional, which hurts you in the NFL. They just don't look great. The Saints, on the other hand, I keep. Wait- I thought they're going to go on the road. It's going to be cold. It's going to be one of those NFC- AFC North teams where the weather is bad and nasty, and it's not great outside. And 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 they're gonna. That's where they're going to lay their egg. You know what? They did not only lay an egg. They dropped a 50-burger on them. Yeah. Okay? Right now, I can't tell you the Bengals are any worse or better or or anything than the Eagles. They're about the same. The difference is they get to come home to New Orleans. They get to go indoors on that track meet, perfect conditions, perfect turf, and they are going to house them. I think the Saints are making a point. We're the best team in football and we're going to beat the hell out of everybody we can beat the hell out of. I think the reason this line jumped from seven to nine is because the bookmaker said, we made a mistake. That's We made possible. an egregious mistake. Entirely possible. Entirely possible. I, I'll still roll with the uh, the Eagles plus nine. I'll take the L if I got to, uh, especially because I feel good about the other ones. Um, What's your last one? Last game for me, Sunday Night Football. Taking the Vikings plus three at the Bears, I understand that that is a uh, uh, it, it's shady prospects, right? I would probably take the I'd probably take whoever was catching points in this game. Well, the Vikings are catching three, yeah, and I I like that. I like the fact that uh, the team that that has actually beaten good teams is catching points here. Chicago has beat up on some really bad teams. They have not beaten a team with a winning record. The best team that they have beaten is the Seahawks. They're four and five. They had them at home as well. Uh, I think this Vikings team is turning a corner. Like they, they lose this game, they are what two back, three back, or two and a half they, back. They would be two and a half back. I mean they they gotta they gotta win this game to stay up there, and and I think they do it. I think they win the game outright. Yeah, I th- I think they can win the game. I would definitely take whoever's catching points. I wouldn't like it. I'm staying away from it, but I don't I don't besmirch on that. I do have one question. You might know the answer to it. I'm not trying to, to catch anything. Okay. Have the Vikings beaten a good team yet? Uh yes. But I can't tell you who. Because they tied Green Bay, which they're not a good team. No, you're right about that. Uh like I mean both teams absolutely house the Lions. Um here, let me not to not to not to waste time. No, no, no. That's that's totally fine. To, that's totally fine. What's going on? Um, but I do know that uh, I do know that the Vikings are the best team that the Bears have played. So let's see exactly who. That's not true at all. The Bears have played the the Patriots. Ah, uh, that's right. Come on that's now. Right. Come on now. That's ridiculous. All right, so they beat Philly. They've, oh, Lord, no. Okay. Yeah, they hadn't really beaten any good teams either. They beat the Jets. They beat the Cardinals. They beat the Eagles. I, I don't dislike the pick. They I'm, beat San Francisco. I was they beat just curious Detroit. If they had a big win that I wasn't thinking of. And the Vikings coming off a of bye week. Yep. So, um, and I do think that means more for them than it does for, like, the Texans. Because well, they're a good coach team. Yeah. Like, I, I love they're, Zimmer they're, in this They're spot. a team that's actually well coached. I love Zimmer in this spot. Uh, Vikings plus three, I, I'll take it all day yeah. long. All right. We're giving you everything you need to know to go be a winner. So go down to Tunica, Mississippi. Put some action down on your favorite plays. TunicaTravel.com has got more information on all six of their sports books. You can get in our football picks contest over winningcureseverything.com. If, are we going to do the undefeated thing on this one? No. Or just in college? We'll just do college. We'll just do it. All right. So, anyway. Know what you're anyway. WinningCuresEverything.com. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys on the next one.